The state agency responsible for regulating animal doctors is giving up a bit of control for the next four years. This after the legislature attached the Texas Veterinary Board to another state agency, the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, to try to get it back on track. Investigator Avery Travis first uncovered issues at the vet board last year. Now she has more on why lawmakers believe this partnership will help. My goal is really to make the vet board the best small agency in the state of Texas. A tall task for new executive director Brittany Sharkey at an agency Texas lawmakers have had their eyes on for years. Last year, when a KXAN investigation revealed dozens of disciplinary records still missing from a website supposed to help you learn more about your pet's doctor, leadership at the Board of Veterinary Medical Examiners blamed an ongoing data migration. It's not going to be me. You can ask others. I'm not apprised. I'm, I'm sorry. You heard me talking. I cannot make a, any kind of public comment. But refused to sit down at the time with KXAN to further explain. We focus on consumer protection. The executive director of the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation says his agency currently operates this kind of public database for its near 900,000 licensees across 37 different fields and professions. Now, TDLR will help the vet board do the same. That will be one of the paramount things that we put in place. The citizens need to have access to that. I personally am a big advocate for government transparency. You have a problem, though, if the agency itself can't find its own records. Senator Nathan Johnson's bill created the four-year partnership, but he wants to see progress on record keeping and management sooner. W within two years, I want to see them collecting the kinds of information they need. There's a new game in town, and we are transparent, accountable, and making sure that we're doing everything we need to be doing. And you're not going to get stonewalled. You're not going to get, you know, it's not going to be a challenge to get documents and ask us for things. We're going to be able to respond to those requests in a way that the previous administration just wasn't. Sharkey, who'd previously served as the agency's general counsel, produced records showing in fiscal years 2021 and 22, the number of compliance inspections completed by the agency of the vets it licenses dropped to less than 100, down from roughly 900 each year prior. Those same years, the agency's board executed just around half the number of disciplinary orders as it had in years past. You were at the agency before when some of these problems were going on. How can Texans be sure that you're going to shepherd this agency in a different direction? You know, I think the most important part of that is that, you know, I did leave the agency. Um, I saw that we were not meeting our mission to Texans. Sharkey returned after the agency's top leadership stepped down amid KXAN's coverage. As proof of progress, she points to new numbers, with more than 700 inspections done this fiscal year and 101 disciplinary orders signed. So I take this very seriously. I am a pet owner. Um, I could not have more skin in the game if I tried, and I want Texans to know that we are really committed to making sure that their veterinary care is the best they can possibly receive. Avery Travis for State of Texas. During the temporary attachment, the vet board will act as an advisory committee to TDLR, with TDLR having authority over most administrative decisions. TDLR will submit a list of recommendations to the legislature in two years, and in four years, the vet board will undergo another review before lawmakers determine if they can become an independent agency again. A new law is now in effect that aims to address one of the most commonly reported complaints that KXAN received about toll billing issues. House Bill 2170 requires Texas tollways to immediately notify customers if there's a problem processing an electronic payment. Tolling authorities also have to provide an invoice of unpaid tolls. Many drivers told us they experienced errors with their auto pay accounts, which resulted in surprise bills and late fees. What we learned is the bill does not specify what happens if toll entities do not follow the law and instead leaves them to adopt their own rules to meet compliance. You can read how the Texas Department of Transportation and the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority responded to the new law by clicking on the State of Texas story in the Texas Politics section of our website. Thank you again for joining us for State of Texas. I'm Josh Hinkle, and we'll be back next week to bring you an in-depth look at Texas politics.